up birthday queens how are you libra happy birthday to all of you i really wish you all the best in life love luck and career i really hope that starting from this day onward you know all doors of abundance opportunities love wise luck wise everything is going to open straight in front of your door okay and i really hope that you guys are always going to be forever happy and fulfilled and content and forever blessed okay so <clears throat> It's me, Anissa, from the Inner Stereo, and I'm back again doing your relationship spread, your relationship reading, and you can always apply it with any who. It could be with your boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, exes, crushes, fiancé, you know, any who. I'm basically just going to pick up your relationship energy in general, all right? And don't forget to also check your sun, moon, or Venus sign, because I tend to realize that with my readings, I resonate much more with my Venus rather than my sun sign, okay? So how are you guys doing right now? Birthdays, birthday queens, birthday kings. Mm-hmm. This is your overall energy for the now. You have the two of swords, you have the three of cups, and you also have the four of swords. It's a very, very unfuckwithable attitude, you know. Uh, meaning that you don't want to care. I feel like in the now you're kind of like guys are kind of like closing off your heart chakra in the now and your brain is like shutting off everything that does not serve you any longer. You know what I mean? Everything that is negative towards you, everything that is just kind of like gives you like a lot of anxieties. You guys are just like, nope, I'm not I'm not going to think about it. I'm not going to stress over it. I'm not going to ponder about it. Instead of doing so, I'm just going to be busy having fun. I'm just going to be busy socializing and I'm going to be busy uh, being grateful for all of the loyal and supportive people that surrounds me. Okay, I feel like in this month of October, you guys are going to be more, much more social. I mean, Libras are very social, but you guys are going to be kind of like much more social. <clears throat> you're going to be much more social and open to meeting someone new. Or just like hanging out with your friends, going out even more. What's challenging you? You have the Eight of Swords and you also have the Karma card in here. See how this, this is your energy and this is your challenge. The karma card in here is a judgment card. It talks about, you know what, universe has been kind of like forcing you to make a definite de decision for quite some time now, but you guys were taking your time while doing so. So now it's kind of like, hey, it's kind of like the universe way of kind of like poking and nudging like, come on Libra, make this a decision Libra, come on Libra, make this a decision Libra. The thing about judgment, the thing about karma or a final decision in here, you need to kind of like follow your intuition because you have a lot of source here and you guys are air signs you guys are like the thinkers you you cannot help but overthink things right and this kind of like is the way you know what let your intuition guide you because your brain is actually kind of like blocking you from escaping this mental imprisonment that you're in that you have been in for quite some time now okay so let your intuition guide you every time you every time your instinct or your impulse kind of like kick you to do something just go ahead and do it kind of like let loose about it in the past you do have like a really really genuine offer from the page of cups this page of cups is very very brave this person knows that you know um, extending their offer towards you does have like a lot of bumpy road ahead so it's not going to be a smooth sailing but they're so 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 into you look at this Libra. You have the Page of Cups and you also have the Two of Cups in here. They're so, so into you. The Page of Cups in the traditional right away tarot talks about the first fish that this person caught and he's kind of like willing to give it to you. I love the page, the description of the Page of Cups, especially in this particular deck of mine, because as you can see, how brave this little young girl here. I mean, this is not gender specific, okay? This is just a symbolization of, 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 of the thing. Um, look at how this brave little girl standing right over here knowing full well that there's going to be like a big wave hitting her but she doesn't really care and this is how they truly feel about you there's kind of like this genuine type of love a selfless type of love coming from their part and they also have the two of cups so although you guys have been you know in a relationship for 10 years or five years or whatever you know but there is the sense of rushing of love inside of them again they feel like they're still in the honeymoon phase with you especially with the two of cups the two of cups also talks about their openness when it comes to wanting to meet you halfway, wanting to get to know you. It's a very, very beautiful one. Mm, 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 mm. You have the Emperor card. It could be dealing with an Aries. <laughs> but you have the Temperance card in reverse, and you also... Yeah, you also have the Six of Wands in reverse. This relationship doesn't actually make you feel good about yourself. Be careful, though, because with this Emperor card, it kind of like talks about exerting dominance a little bit. I mean, 
the Emperor card in my particular uh, Jepre Zero has been symbolized by the War card, meaning that you guys are being kind of like quite overprotective towards your inner child or how you truly feel about them. I feel like you guys snapped. You guys just never snapped in the past. You guys kind of like lost your temper because this relationship doesn't actually make you feel good about yourself. It doesn't give you like a lot of confidence. It doesn't make you celebratory. It doesn't make you victorious. You lost your patience in here. So now the other party that you're dealing with, they're like the high priestess. The high priestess talks about them kind of like distancing themselves away from you um, to see things in a black and white position, whether it's tolerable or whether it's not intolerable. But they're still standing. Oh, yeah, they're hurt. They're hurt. They're deeply hurt. Libra, look at this. Oh, they're hurt. They're super hurt, but the love is still there, though. Why? Because it's the high priestess. They're not walking away. They've kind of like felt like they deserve it. Like to some... <clears throat> to some Libra partners out there, I feel like they felt like they kind of deserve this type of hurt, you know what I mean? But also, at the same time, the love is still there, and they're now taking the distancing away from you, so to see kind of like in a black and white position, try to kind of like give you a space a little bit so that you can kind of like think clearly. The love is still there. Yeah, they also have this ten of wands attitude in here, meaning that they still think that the future with you is still something that is worth the fight. You know, and they don't really care how their ego would be or could be or have been trampled, but they still feel like the destination ahead, which is you, the future together with you, is still worth to fight for. You have the Seven of Cups in here. I, I feel like in this month of October, you guys are going to kind of like either give them an ultimatum or kind of like says like, you know what, this is what I want. Just kind of like choose whether you're in or whether you're out because you guys kind of like lost your temper in the, in the, in the past, right? The Seven of Cups also talks about you kind of like having multiple options on the table and it also talks about you guys are not really prioritizing or focusing on your love life in the now because you all are also focusing on other areas of your life that needs to be taken care of. Uh, okay. Well, right now they're willing to fight for it, but in the future they're going to have the Four of Pentacles and also the Seven of Pentacles. Meaning that they're going to completely, like now they're distancing themselves because they're trying to kind of give you space, right? Now they're trying to distance them themselves because they're trying to see things in a black and white position, whether you're tolerable or whether you're intolerable. But in the future, I feel like they're going to kind of like completely withdrawn from you, uh, being stingy with their attention and affection. Because why? Because they feel like they have already invested so much in this relationship and it kind of like is the time for you to kind of like reciprocate back to them. You have the two of pentacles in here. I mean, they're still here. They haven't left. The feeling is still here. Whoa, da -da. Now you have the empress and you also have the ace of pentacles. Beautiful. Oh, well, yeah, it's a beautiful TikTok that is going on. It's a beautiful ping pong ball, you know, you know, when you guys kind of like throw or hit the ball to the other side and they kind of like hit the ball on the other side. So I feel like this is kind of like is much more of a ping pong ball when they kind of like extend and you guys lost your temper, temper you sister snap them distancing themselves away from you. I feel like this space is kind of like necessary in here. But uh, remember, in the in the future, they got, they are going to kind of like withdraw from you. And it's not because they're trying to ma ma manipulate you. They're not trying to emotionally manipulate you or whatever that is. But they just want you to give them either a green light or they just want you to kind of like reciprocate back, which I feel like you guys are going to be doing. You have the Empress card and you have the Ace of Pentacles. In the future, you're going to kind of like starting to see that this relationship has that um, gift that if you were to work things through, it could actually lead to a very, very good collective happiness and collective future together with you, okay? Although there's still the Two of Pentacles, meaning that you guys are still kind of like indecisive about what to do. And this is also talks about both of you kind of like playing the ping pong ball, but it's kind of like it's very, very good. You have the Empress card, meaning that your Venusian, how to pronounce it, you know, your Venus really, really shows up in the future, meaning that you would want to kind of like be the center of their, the center of their universe and you would want to kind of like procreate with them in some way. So it's very beautiful. It's actually looking good. So yeah. Okay.
So I think that's it for my reading for you, Libra. Happy birthday once again. I really hope that you have a great month ahead. Bye-bye.